Hello again, everyone. It's Todd Starooch, the horror nerd here at New Jersey Horror Con and Film Festival at the New, J New Jersey Expo Center in Edison, New Jersey. We've had a great time this weekend. It's the final day of the convention. I have met a ton of cool people. Speaking of cool people, <laughs> I have the privilege of sitting here with Mr. Shavar Ross. Shavar, how are you? I'm having a good time. I'm excited to be on the East Coast, close to my family. I'm from New York, so to be back in Jersey, I love it. I'm doing great. I, <laughs> thank you. You know, most people are like, oh, Jersey. I'm like, no, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> I'm like, we're letting this right now. I love right Jersey now. pizza, too. <laughs> I eat them both. <laughs> nice. So, we obviously, we are at a horror convention, and I, of course, will talk to you about Friday the 13th, but being a child of the 80s, right, I grew up with different strokes, right? Yes. That was a huge part of our family, like what we would watch, and you were a big part of one of the more notable episodes, right? Very the special, very special, the very special episode, episode, right? I shouldn't be laughing. No. <laughs> the but, very special. But I, I get what you mean. That became such a cliche after a while, right? The very yes. special episode. So my question is, you were a child actor, obviously, but when you were making that episode, did you truly understand, like, the impact of the story? Like, what, what was really happening in the story? Or was it, I'm doing my lines, this is what we rehearsed, and, and I'm just playing a part. A little bit of both, uh, because, you know, as child actors, you still have to be professional and have the professionalism there. Um, it was a very serious, because back in those days, you know, the very special episode was, was literally right. a very special and episode. about very it was serious, serious topics. Even yeah. though they had a laugh track right. <laughs> during some of, the, yeah. some of the scenes. But no, it was, um, it was, it was work for me. Um, it, it didn't really impact me until after it aired where I was able to um, visit a lot of schools and to talk about the subject. So that was that was really kind of, you know, interesting to me when, you know, I would talk to other kids literally in like schools. And I was like, wow, this is interesting. So that 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 kind of caught my attention. But as far as the two part episode, it was um, it was just another job for me. It didn't hit me. You know, it didn't hit me at the time. Okay, fair enough. I mm -hmm. I, I would imagine that that would be the case, you know, because you're working, you're re mm -hmm. performing a script, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that's it. But, yeah, it was because I was reading up on it, you know, because uh, I knew you were going to be here at this convention, and mm -hmm. and I was like, wow, I guess even back then, like as a kid, I really didn't even uh, mm -hmm. appreciate mm -hmm. it because our parents right, yeah. had always given us the speech, right. you know, about you right. know, if someone doesn't make you feel comfortable right to tell. right and then here it was on tv right you know, like wow right 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 uh, especially a show that was always so much fun you know it was right kind of just didn't like hearted and now we're like uh oh we're in serious territory yeah and especially with uh, a very nice man Gordon Jump right from it, WK and you know what I think WKRP was in its last leg maybe a season he was I think the show was still airing during that time so I thought it was very interesting um, to have Gordon he was a very nice man I felt comfortable with him as far as acting. I didn't, right. you know, <laughs> right. he was playing a role, but it's like, of course. when you look from the outside, it's like, oh, wow, he was creepy. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, but very good actor. Right. Rest, rest in peace. He was but very he was, good Yeah, at yeah, like, he was very <laughs> I, mm, I, I don't feel right, <laughs> you know? So I get it. Um, so regarding still different strokes, does it surprise you that after so many decades, the show is still as popular um, as it was and that people show up to shows to meet you yes. to talk about different strokes. Yes, yes. I'm always fascinated by that. Seeing uh, little YouTube clips pop up and watching certain episodes and people share uh, with me, you know, just the nostalgia of it all, video and clips from the past. And um, I just, matter of fact, I just saw something a couple of days ago where someone literally did a whole montage of some of my work. And I was just like, wow. I was like, who did this? This was like, you know, 40 <laughs> some years ago. It's like, wow. You know, so I'm, but I'm always grateful and appreciative that, you know, if it continues to um, put a smile on people's face and if they're, you know, I mean, I've had even seven-year-olds come and I'm like, wait a minute, you weren't even around during Friday the 13th. What are you doing here? But, you know, it's a generational sure. thing I'm noticing too. I'm sure. like, wow. 
So, but you know, I'm thankful. I'm, I'm, I'm always grateful to, to meet new people. I love meeting new people. And you know, so if I can touch somebody and put a smile, it's so much um, division in our world, so much stuff going on. So this is one of the things that I love about coming to, to these events is because it brings people together. Mm. Like For sports, sure. you know, like right? sports. Yep. It doesn't yep. matter your color. It doesn't Especially a horror con where yeah. the, even the, like the freak soul can feel like at home, you know, like oh, like oh my god, we all yeah. we all fit in, yeah. you know, it's great. And the last uh, con I was at, we got to Friday the Thirteenth cast our first reunion, got to have photo ops with Barbara Eden from Our Dream of Genie. I'm like, this is wonderful. How did this we get together with you know Miss Eden? So always grateful. That's yep. awesome. I love hearing when I talk to guests and I hear that you had like a fan like a fan moment like that. I, I love hearing that. Yep, 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 <laughs> so, yep. So, Shavar, you actually played like another legendary character that I'm going to bring up. You played Buckwheat. <laughs> oh, Buckwheat. <laughs> oh, that's funny. In the re- I wasn't like, expecting the that one. Of, uh, of Little Rascals, if wow. you will. Like, oh, I love yeah, that. Right? I, yeah, I was just telling somebody about that <laughs> yesterday. Um, got to work with Robin Williams. I was actually signed as a child to Hanna Barbera. So I was uh, Buckwheat, the Little Rascals. Oh, I'm talking about Mork and Mindy. I'm sorry. I, Mork and Mindy was a yeah, part well, of that whole yeah. Saturday lineup. Sure. But I was doing that, the Smurfs. Um, but yeah, Buckwheat. Weed. I did the voice of that, but Mork and Mindy, uh, something where it was like a, a whole hour on Saturday mornings or something like that, working with Robin Williams, Jonathan Winters, and that was a great, oh, um, Rick Dees' wife, Rick Dees is a popular sure. uh, DJ in LA. Yep. And, Disco um, Duck. Yeah, that, that's right, Disco, Disco Duck, that's Duck right, work with his wife, that's right, right. <laughs> and he's still still around working sure. and has his, everything set up, so I, I love doing voiceovers, I did like the GoBots, Smurfs and Punky Brewster, you know, I was like, wow, this is really great. So, you know, it's it's always fascinating to play all day. <laughs> but we. <laughs> oh, I love I'm it. But we. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I said, I got to talk about Buckwheat. <laughs> he's, he's, he's not going to see Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Yeah. So let's talk about Friday the 13th, part five real quick. We'll get a, one of your photos here at your table. Mm-hmm. Now, as a kid, did you like scary movies or was just this another... Hey, I auditioned oh. and I got a, a role in a horror movie. Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe some of you may know. Um, I didn't even know it was a Friday the 13th movie when I was auditioning, going through the audition process. So it wasn't until the first day on the set that I had to sign something. And um, it was uh, called Repetition. So I thought I was doing some, you know, horror movie called Repetition. Because gotcha. that was on the script. And this is what, you know, I was told this is what I was auditioning for. But when we got on the uh, set, my first day, they came and said, you know, this is, I just remember some sort of disclosure thing. It was like a big deal, I guess, because they maybe wanted to keep it secret after sure, the probably. final chapter or something. And I was like, what? Oh, my God. I was like excited. And my friend Corey Feldman. Um, we did. I did my second commercial with him. This was like for Kodak back in like 1980. So it was just exciting to be a part of that whole franchise. And so I was excited about it. Um, I thought it was. I thought it was a comedy. I mean, the, just just filming the whole thing. So I never really took it serious. It wasn't until the movie actually came out. But you know, just you know, seeing the director and you know when I wasn't working, I would see them shooting different scenes and stuff. And so you know, like there was one scene with um, Ron um, and you know the one that got his head chopped off mm-hmm. you know and just seeing them late at night you know the head the head no let it it's bouncing like a basketball spending two or three hours so I always thought it was funny you know I never took it seriously so that's cool <laughs> yep yep so yeah. and so it, today my last last question is are you into horror movies now um, <laughs> I love asking and I, people, because it's like 50-50. People were in horror movies. Sometimes they're like, oh, no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. I don't like horror movies. Where I, do you stand? I, I, 
I like horror movies, but the only, and I have the box set. Uh, we did the audio commentary some years back. Uh, John Shepard, Danny Steinman, the director of the film uh, for Paramount, and they gave me a whole DVD set, and it was, I enjoyed it. But I think I may, may have just seen a little bit of the final chapter at the end with Corey. Uh, I know I went to go see part six literally in the theater, but I haven't seen any of the other ones. Sometimes when people, and I'm signing, uh, they're telling me like, yo, you don't remember part one? I'm like, no, I don't even remember seeing part one. Maybe just maybe a couple of minutes of it, but it's very interesting because I think about it, I'm like, why haven't I seen, you know, why haven't I watched any of the episodes? Someone's like, I don't remember anything. I'm still <laughs> learning about the film, <laughs> sure. or the series, I should say, the franchise, and so that's fascinating to me. Phantasm is my, <laughs> that was, that's my film. I love Fast Phantasm, so legit. when I was my, a kid. My camera operator is <laughs> cheering <laughs> Okay, there. that's right. Like, like maybe a week ago, like two in the morning, it was like that ball, that silver ball. And I was like, oh my god, yeah. So, so I do like horror. You know, once it's so, what it is is that there's so many things out there now, so many channels. It's almost a little bit overwhelming for me. I got so, you. So, I agree. So, you know, but I'll watch something if I see it in my, like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I kind of like that one. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Good yeah. to hear. All right, well, Shalar, thank you so much okay, for a few minutes of your time. Thank you. I enjoyed thank speaking you. with you. Thank you. Before I let you go, do you have any final words uh, for the fans out there you'd like to share? Well, I just want to say keep enjoying your life. You know, keep enjoying films, you know, whatever makes you happy. Come out to the events, live your life, have fun. So much going on in the world. Tomorrow's not promised to us. So you just have fun and love everybody. Love one another. Don't get walked over. <laughs> but you, you love one another. That's what it's all about. See how we're together? Exactly. <laughs> Doesn't matter your color, what you look like, your politics. I love it. Words of wisdom. Shabar Ross, everybody. This is Todd Struch, the Horror Nerd, signing off from New Jersey HorrorCon and Film Festival in Edison, New Jersey. We will see all of you in the next interview.